Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add a player model to your Gorilla Tech fan game. Now, this is an updated tutorial because I made one years ago, maybe like two years ago by now, but that uses Normcore. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to do that, but using Photon VR. If you don't have Photon VR, go watch my Photon VR tutorial, link in the description. And if you do have it, then you can just continue on to the video. The script we'll be using is called FastAK Fabric. You can get it in my Discord server, link in the description, or in the Google Drive link in the description. I have no idea who originally made the script, but it's a widely used script. Join my Discord server link in the description if you have any problems or if something doesn't work for you and yeah let's get straight into the video now overall this is a pretty simple tutorial so import photon vr if you haven't already set that up by following the tutorial and stuff then go into resources photon vr and player here and in player you'll see that it's just the default photon vr player now what you'll need you'll need to get a rigged player model if you want you can make one yourself by following a tutorial or you can probably find one on a website like sketchfab or get someone to make it for you or you can just go to the unity asset store and search for robot kyle it's widely used to somehow find a rigged player model and make sure that it is rigged in blender i'll probably make a tutorial on how to make a player model in the future but it's currently not out if it is out then go watch that if it's not then you can watch another tutorial you can find another player model that's rigged make sure it's rigged or else it won't work so in this case i'm just going to be using this so what you want to do drag it into your scene and then drag it under the head now if it's packed just right click prefab unpack completely then just drag it down to match up with this okay the original photon model and just line it up the best you can if you want you can resize it if it's like too big or too small but mine is like a perfect size because my modeler who made this is antenna modeling he made it the right size line it up don't put it forward because if we turn on the grid lines here the view where the player sees is this spot right here it's actually best to not put it here it's best to put it slightly behind there it will make your arms a bit shorter so if you want you could just put it here here normally and then you could use some sort of culling script i actually made a tutorial on how to add that so pretty much it makes it so let's say you play the game and you see something like let's say you see the ears here or you see your head you can just drag on the script set it up and then you won't see it other people will still see it but you won't so i'll leave that in the description too in case you need that but anyways once it's lined up select the vr head vr body vr hand and the other vr hand by the way just hold down control and click them select them all then just click delete and then when you have them deleted you want to import the fast ik fabric script now you could do that by either by downloading it and dragging it into your scripts folder if you have one or you could right click import new assets find it and then just you know put it into your project now open up your model go to to armature it should have some sort of armature now my thing is actually labeled well if your thing isn't labeled it might be a bit harder to find what you're looking for but you're looking for the hands now the hands are actually the wrist here so you're looking for the wrists so for me it's hand l hand r so i'm just going to select them both and drag on the fast ik fabric script now let's start with the left hand the target here is going to be this left hand right there and the pole is going to be the upper arm now the upper arm is usually the shoulder here you might have your own actual shoulder thing somewhere but make sure it's the upper arm not the shoulder and make sure it's not the forearm because then your arm can snap backwards and stuff so yeah make sure the target is the left hand and the pole is the upper arm left or right or whatever then do the same for the right hand drag on right hand for target and upper arm right for pole or whatever you named it now for textures just make whatever textures you want your model probably comes with textures but i didn't import the textures so i'll just do this there's my model now if you want you can leave this name text here if you don't know what it does it kind of just stays there and then it points at whatever way you're looking at but if you want it to be like gorilla tag where the name is actually on your chest what you want to do drag the name text not the player name here drag the name text under head and then just drag it down to your chest you can resize it if you want you can rotate it put it however you want and then go ahead and delete the player name and then make sure when you're in player that where it says name text here it's still selected as that text so then pretty much the name stays on your chest and it won't move around Around. I forgot to say this before, but go back to your hands. Sorry, with the left hand, go to the rotate tool. And you want to rotate it like this. So this is like vertical here. Then you want to rotate it forward. So it's like forward like this. Then do the same thing here. So just rotate it so it's vertical like that. And then rotate it so it's forward and straight like that. Now make sure to save and now we can test it out. So now for some of you, your player model might be going like through the ground a bit. So like the bottom of your body might be like underneath the ground or something. For me, it's like that, but only a 
a tiny bit and that's perfectly fine but if it's doing that then just go to player get your model and just drag it up a tiny bit what you ideally want is for your eyes to be like somewhere here but if your torso is inside the ground then just drag it up and drag up the name too and then you're fine a lot of people oversimplify this this is really easy if you want you could use animation rigging i don't really know the difference but from my experience it does the same thing once again the script to this will be my discord server link in the description and also in a google drive file link also link in the description join my discord server if you need any help or if something doesn't work for you or if you just want to be part of my awesome community also please consider becoming a channel member because it's only two dollars a month and you get so many awesome perks including getting to see my videos earlier than the normal viewer and including getting a shout out at the end of every single video that i make just like all of the wonderful people that are on the screen right now thank you all so much sorry for not uploading for like three weeks i've been really busy with school and stuff i'm hoping to upload i have a horror tutorial coming out hopefully next i don't know but yeah thank you all so much for watching please comment down below some video ideas that you want me to make they don't necessarily have to be tutorials they can be anything that you think will be cool for me to make like in vr or something please like and subscribe because it's the best way to help me for free and i really appreciate it it helps me out way more than you think i hope you all enjoyed the video thank you all so much for watching and yeah guys this is for me today peace